Hi, my name is Maura. I'm one of the developers of EasyFino and in this video I'm going to show you how you can integrate your own prediction model. Everything I'm going to tell you now can also be found in our documentation at easyfino.readthedocs.io. Easyfino already contains two parent classes. One is called base model for all the prediction models where you want to optimize your hyperparameters. The other one is called parent free base model for all the prediction models without hyperparameters or where you just don't want to tune them. The base model already contains um, templates for the three most common frameworks, so scikit-learn, PyTorch and TensorFlow. In this video we're going to focus on the first one as we want to include its k-nearest neighbor algorithm. So now let's go to one of our Ubuntu machines. See you in a minute. So let's get started. First, we need to copy this sklearn template here and rename it to knn.py. This will also be the name that we will use later on to call the method in the command line. Then we need to rename this class, so let's call it knn. And also, don't forget to enter knn to the list of models here in our init file. The first thing we need to define are those two attributes, the standard encoding and the possible encodings. So basically we have to decide which encodings we want to allow for this method. I will go with the standard additive encoding, which is called 012 in EasyFino. So let's enter it here. And then we can start defining our model. Um, the sklearn k nearest neighbor has two hyperparameters we want to optimize. The first one is the number of neighbors, which is called in neighbors. And the second one is the weight function. So the weights. Since we want to optimize those two parameters, we need to suggest them to Optuna. We will do that by calling the following. Self.suggest hyperparameter of tuna, but we have to enter the name again as a string. And we do the same for the weights. And then all that's left to do is return the actual model. So Return the SKR neighbors K neighbors classifier where we enter our hyperparameters. And that would be it. But we can also define the regressor in the same function by using the inherited um, attribute self.task. So what we can do is self.task is equal to classification we want to use our classifier and in the other case we want we want to use the regressor. So return sklearn.neighbors.kneighbors regressor with the same hyperparameters. Now we have defined our model. And all that's left to do is setting the ranges for our hyperparameters. So the first hyperparameter, the neighbors, is an integer. 
that means we can choose this template here and the right name so okay. neighbors and change the data type to integer and then we have to set our boundaries so i go with a lower bound of two and an upper bound of 50 and set the step size to two our second hyperparameter the weights is categorical so we can use this template up here let's change the name then data type categorical that's true and now we have to enter our list of values here which in this case is uniform and distance and we can just delete the last one here now we are done so let's check out if our model works we will do this by using the toy data so all we have to do is call easyfino.run and use the model name KNN. And it seems to be working. So that's how you integrate your own prediction model in EasyFino. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to check out the other tutorials on our documentation. Thank you.